Next comes conditional operators. The syntax is expression 1 question mark expression 2 colon expression 3 where exp1, exp2 and exp3 are expressions. Now we see one example where the value of m is equal to 2 and n is equal to 3. So r is equal to m greater than n question mark m colon n that is it will chuck the condition if the condition is true then it prints the value of m if the condition is false then it prints the value of n that is expression 1 is evaluated first if it is non-zero then the expression 2 is evaluated and this becomes the value of the expression if expression 1 is false, expression 3 is evaluated and the value of expression 3 will become the value of the expression. So now in this case, 2 is greater than 3. 2 is greater than 3 is false. So it has to evaluate expression 3. That is the value of R will become 3. That is the value of N. Next comes bitwise operators these operators allow manipulation of data at the bit level the bitwise operators are bitwise and bitwise or bitwise exclusive or bitwise not shift left and shift right first we see the true table for bitwise operators here bit a taking the two variables a and b a bitwise or b, a bitwise and b, a bitwise exclusive or b and bitwise not of a. In case of a bitwise or b, if both the values of a and b are 0, then the value will be evaluated to 0. If any one of the condition is true, then a bitwise or b will be evaluated to true. In, a, in the case of A bitwise and B, if any one of the value is false, then the A bitwise and B will be evaluated to false. This is true only if both A and B are true. In case of A bitwise X or B, if both A and B are false, the value will be false. If both A and B are true, the value will be false. This will be true only if either A should be true or B should be true. Next comes bitwise not A. If A is 0, bitwise not of A will be 1. If A is 1, bitwise not of A will be 0. Then comes special operators. There are two special operators. One is comma operator and one is size of operator. One example for comma operator is while declaring the variable we declare as int a comma b. Here we are using a special operator called comma operators. So comma operators are used while declaring the variables. Then for size of operator if we take an example where a is of data type integer and it is assigned a value 2. Now, if I use size of operator, that is size of the variable name A, since A is of data type integer, the size of A will return the value 2. That is, it allocates 2 bytes of memory for the variable A. That is only in the case of integer. If A is of data type float, then 4 bytes of memory will be allocated to the variable A. Here we see the difference between the algebraic expression and the C expression. While writing in maths, we usually write it as A into B minus C. But while writing in the C expression, we cannot include this into symbol. We have to write it as A star B minus C, where star symbol is used as multiplication symbol. The expression m plus n, x plus y. This is how we write in the algebraic expression. But in the case of C expression, 
we have to write it as m plus n star x plus y. If it is a b divided by c, in case of c we should write it as a star b slash c where star symbol is used for multiplication and slash symbol is used for division. Now the expression 3x star plus 2x plus 1 should be written as 3 star x star x plus 2 star x plus 1. We cannot write it as 3x square. If it is a divided by b, it should be written as a slash b. If the expression is s is equal to a plus b plus c by 2, we have to write it as s is equal to a plus b plus c in a braces slash 2. The general syntax of conditional operator is expression 1 question mark expression 2 colon expression 3. Now this is one condition if the condition is true it executes expression 2 if the condition is false it executes expression 3. Now we take the value of m as 12 and we take the value of n as 8. Now I will give the condition as m greater than n question mark m colon n that is if the condition is true it will print the value of m if the condition is false it will print the value of n. Now the value of m is 12 and value of n is 8. 12 greater than 8 colon 12 colon 8. Now if the condition is true it will return the value as 12. If the condition is false it will return the value as 8. In this case since the condition is true it will evaluate to 12. The expression will be evaluated to 12 in case of conditional operators. The syntax of conditional operator is expression 1 question mark expression 2 colon expression 3 that is if the condition is true it will evaluate expression 2 if the condition is false it will evaluate expression 3 if since 12 is greater than 8 the condition is true it return the value as 12.